To my left is the Marriott Resort and Spa Waikiki. That's where Lisa and I have been staying this week. I'm going to take you inside to meet an incredible chef. We might do a hula dance or two. And who knows? I might even try to swallow fire. No, I'm not going to try to do the fire dance. All right, y'all. So we're in Hawaii having the best, best time. Aloha means hello. It can also mean goodbye. And also, I love you. So aloha from the island of Oahu, the district of Waikiki, the beach, baby. Let's go cook. Spread love. Hey y'all, it's me, Chef Curtis, with my new friend, Chef. You know, how are you? Know. Now, Chef, thanks for inviting us into your kitchen. I'm telling you, y'all, I get chicken steak because I'm with the brother here. Portuguese background? Portuguese background, yeah. I'm uh, originally from the Azores, St. Miguel. Uh, moved to Boston, grew up right there with my family. So wow. I moved over when I was like five years old. Uh, one of 11. So I grew up cooking with my mom and my dad. Slow down, time out, yo. Did y'all hear what he said? One of 11, I didn't have yeah. enough fingers to do that. All right, chef, put one more finger up for us. Okay, so that's, that's 11. That was where, me. where do you fall in that line? I'm the baby. The baby, oh my goodness. Save the best for last. Oh, okay. Either save the best for last, or like in my case, they threw me out with the, no, I'm totally, yeah. I'm totally kidding. Mom was great. Yeah. So chef, you, we are at this beautiful resort. Yep. Will you name it for the folks out there? And, uh, yeah, this is the Marriott uh, Resort Spa in Waikiki. So we're located right on Kalakaua Avenue, uh, right across the street from Queensbreak, uh, which is the surf break. So that's why that's the restaurant, the restaurant yes. name. Ah! That ties it in. Well, you got your gloves <laughs> on. So. Waikiki, photographs circa 1900. Wow, one of those great old surfers. Now this plaque stands at the corner of, uh, well, right at the end of the Queen's Break. And it says Waikiki means sprouting water because it was a vast marshland fed by many streams. You're in fact standing on what was the mouth of an old stream and I can't pronounce that. I better get my friend Will Kamura to pronounce that for me. From the ancient times, Waikiki has been a popular surfing spot, which is one of the reasons why the chiefs made their homes and headquarters here for hundreds of years. This is the land of kings and queens, thus the name Queens Break Outside. I just absolutely love this spot. Now, so I'm going to paint. You left Massachusetts. How'd you end up in Hawaii? <laughs> Tell uh, the truth now. <laughs> my wife? I was lucky. So you followed a beautiful, yeah. it, it's a wahini, that's a one. Is wahini, is that the correct Wahini, term? yeah, but yeah. He followed a beautiful wahini yep. to Waikiki. So, so yeah. the thing that I, y'all, I'm looking at the resort, things that we can do, the things that the resort offers. Mm -hmm. And I saw the hula lessons I took yesterday, yeah. cool. right? And then I see poke. They're gonna teach us how to make poke. So I figured go right to the source. <laughs> now, chef, what is poke? Poke, um, it's very, um, poke just means cubed. Really? Anything cubed. So uh, everybody re relates poke to ahi because we have the biggest ahi, ahi. supplier in around and everything. And that's really traditional to the Hawaiian culture because they went out and caught the ahi, they yeah. bring it in, they, they dice it up, and that was that became the so, poke. So poke. Now, all right, y'all, y'all, did, did my head just blow up? <laughs> because, okay, I always thought poke was a just a, a fish dish, but poke <laughs> is a term like mise en place. Yep. It just means to cube. I love that. <laughs> I'm 